Uh, Danny, welcome to Ljubljana. Thank you. Uh, now that you're here, what will be your first uh, job here as Olympias coach? My first job is going to be uh, help Matty at first uh, to, uh, to build a team and uh, make sure uh, we're going to have a good roster and make sure also we're going to have a, a good group first. That's mm -hmm. going to be my first job. Uh, do you know when you will be starting with the team preseason preparations? Well, we had already had a little talk and uh, I would like to have the team, uh, the group, not the team, but the group uh, on the 28th of July for, for around 10, 10, days, uh, 10 days physical work off ice and also be on the ice on the 1st August. Well, so last year you were assistant coach in the national team where you already met a, f a few of the players here. What were your impressions of them? My impression is, uh, well, I got the same impression in 205 when I came here in Slovenia with the 120 French team in the World Championship here in Bled. The, the skills of the player in Slovenia is very good. They, they have a good, also, hockey sense. And uh, I think uh, what I, it's going to be one of the first big points I'm going to have to, uh, to bring to, the, to them. It's going to be a physical. Bring the physical, bring the physical game, but also bring the physical to handle the mantle or uh, handle the, all those uh, kind of things can happen in a game or during a season. Which one of them did impress you the most? Which player? Yeah. Uh, well, the biggest player I played against in Slovenia was uh, Andre Kopitar. <laughs> Uh, he killed me in the under under 20 in 205. We lost 2-1 against them, and he scored the goals. But there's a lot of good guy. There's a lot of good young player in the, in there. You have you music. He's a hard worker guy. He's a compete. Uh, he compete every puck, and uh, that's going to be a good. Uh, I think for the young player because he's still young. He's still young, and I think there's a, a lot of uh, things to take to, to from this guy here to for the young player, and also I think it would be a good example for the team. Uh, that's what I want. I want. I want to compete. I want every guy compete on every puck, and our guy compete to win all game. And what is your preferred uh, style of coaching? I'm a. I'm an emotional coacher. Coaching. Uh, I coach like I play. Uh, I, I hate losing, so uh, I'm not a loser. And uh, until the game is not finished. I don't want nobody to get down and nobody think he's gonna lose the game. Because you can you can play hard and lose a game, but also you have a game to, the day after and you have to prepare day after day. So there's a way to lose, there's a way to get to win the game. So I'm coming back with all the teamwork, team ethics. Have you already had the chance to see any of the Olympia's games from the previous seasons? No, yeah, I saw the last game of the final. Last year, the, 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 the last game, right? yeah, yeah, against Yasinice, I saw it, uh, I wasn't bled, it was on TV, so I had a chance uh, to watch that game, but uh, I, was, I wasn't I was not in right away, so uh, I cannot tell you so much what I what I saw and what I'm going to go with that, but I'm, there's going to be a lot of new players in the team, so we want to bring a new attitude, and like I said just before, there's going to be three big words in the room, it's going to be teamwork, team ethics, and team spirit. Otherwise, stars, there's no stars in Ljubljana. Throughout your career, you worked mostly with the younger players. Do you see the youngsters having an important role in Olympia and more ice time this season as well? Yeah, what you mean is, is I coach a lot of uh, young players. Uh, in Ajwa, in Switzerland, it was a very young team, very young team. And uh, it's true, uh, for me, there's one word, like I said before, uh, there's a group, and a group, it's, uh, it's a 25 players. So for me, young kids going to have ice time, but it's not going to be free. It's not going to be free. Uh, older players, veterans, going to have ice time because they're going to have a role, they're going to have a leadership to bring with it, but also it's not going to be free. So I think everybody needs to understand uh, life is not free, and you have, if you want something, you have to reach it, and you have to go get it. I'm not going to give everything. Are there already any players you would like to bring to Ljubljana? Well, we're talking with matches, and that's going to be a match as uh, me. I will, I will give some names, I will give some, some words to matches, but matches is the general manager, so he's going to bring uh, all this stuff in there.
but uh, it's, uh, it's his job and my job is to help him to find some player and give some ideas because about my game, what kind of game, what kind of style I want and that's important. But also there's a lot of things around between what you want and what we can have. So we have to play with that. Also you're going to be a team coordinator for the junior national teams. Do you think that could affect the work at Olympia? Or is it going to be helpful so you'd have more sight on the younger players as well? Well, first of all, uh, work never kill nobody. So uh, to work it's not a problem. Work with Olympia, I know exactly where I'm going. I know exactly what I have to do. I think it's going to be a part of the game and uh, I think it's only a, how I'm going to be organized and uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt nobody but also uh, one thing is uh, to be in Ljubljana doesn't mean every player of Ljubljana have a chance to play in the national team that's everybody needs to understand on one side I'm 300% uh, for Ljubljana and I'm working with Ljubljana what I have to do and when you're talking about the national uh, youth program or assistant coach of the first team it's Slovenia in Slovenia it's all teams there's no one team there's all teams and what we want it's the best players and best team that's it okay, great thank you